What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Sensei Jerry Valido here with the Valido Academy of Martial Arts. Uh, it's good to be back. I haven't made one of these videos in a long while, but I am back and I'm going to be coming out with a series of videos on a bunch of different subjects uh, as the months start to pass, so stay tuned for those. Coming up uh, very soon, more sooner than later, I'm going to be coming out with a series of uh, videos here on YouTube utilizing the PIW, or what I like to call the pocket impact weapon. Now a pocket impact weapon um, is something that I personally have a real love for being the fact that A, uh, at least here in California they're completely legal. There's no law in the books that I've ever found that uh, prohibits the use of a pocket impact weapon. Now I'm not talking about a sap, I'm not talking about a billy club, I'm talking about uh, something like uh, what I'm holding here. And uh, one of the other reasons I really like these uh, are because, well, they're easy to carry, uh, they're easily concealable, and um, they don't have the stigma attached to it by law enforcement that, say, something like a blade uh, has. Um, I train in the bladed arts. I know how to use a blade, uh, but I tell you what. If I have a blade on me, there's only two reasons why I would deploy it, okay? A, I open it up and I'm in the presence of another person and I'm showing them the blade. It's a conversation piece. Second reason why I would deploy it in the presence of another person is because I'm going to cut you, or at least I'm going to try to, okay? And the whole thing about uh, utilizing a blade in a self-defense situation when it comes uh, uh, into the courtroom is just a little too risky for my taste. Um, with a pocket impact weapon, you can basically uh, gauge and choose the level of damage you want to do to the opponent. You know, you can lock somebody up with these things, okay? You can strike, obviously, that's why they're called impact weapons. But, you know, I can cause a lot of damage on a person's body with one of these things. If I wanted to, I could kill a person with one of these things if I hit him right into the trachea. Right? I could gouge their eye out with this and, 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 you know, and, and stick this right in somebody's eye socket. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, once again, food for thought. Like I always like to say, food for thought. Something for you to add to your arsenal and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on the YouTube page and I will see you soon. Peace.